Leonardo AI is hands down the best art generation tool. Your favorite free better than mid-journey tool just got upgraded with Stable Diffusion XL 0.9. This means you can create more amazing, more imaginative, and higher quality generations. In addition, prompt masters will absolutely love playing with their Prompt Magic V3, which is designed to give you better design with better control. In this video, we'll be checking out their free Alchemy trial, as well as their latest release of Stable Diffusion XL. Let's get started. So for those of us who is new to Alchemy, it is designed for you to really have full control of your prompt and output. What that means is that whatever you put into your prompt, you're going to get a better output of it. Because sometimes you enter a prompt and then it comes out totally different from what you want. Um, Prompt Magic V3 is designed to really understand your language, designed to really take your prompt to the next level and create higher quality, better images and really understand what you want. Um, and I think that is really cool. So if you are new to Alchemy, you can see that it is turned on. And if you don't know anything about it, you can click on the question mark and really learn about the beta mode, beta updates and the updates on Leonardo. You can also look into their documents on their website and really learn what it really is, giving you a full breakdown of how to use the contrast boost, the resonance and the high resolution and all of that. Um, I think that is really good. And if you are to turn this off, you're going to notice that it pops back into V2 because currently the alchemy only works with uh, V3 and vice versa. So I want you to just give this a shot if you are testing the alchemy mode there. Um, so go ahead and enter a prompt that you have. I just sort of asked ChatGPT to generate one for me, just the most randomized, utilizing some of my favorite prompt words. I don't even know what this is. I think it's supposed to be a wolf, but <laughs> and yes, it is. And then in here, you can see the fine tuned model. This is one of my models that I do enjoy using a Leonardo, um, but you can use any of the other ones um, right here. That's just my own there, but a lot of these are already um you're pretty much used to this um, but over here is the presets now for alchemy they only have a certain number of presets that you can use uh, from anime all the way down to 3d render and sketch color each of these preset is with alchemy so whatever you choose the output will strongly reflect that so right now you know if you do want a black and white image or a photography based image it's going to give you that photography based image it's not going to be able to understand any artists and names. It's not going to be understand other references because it's more focused on this preset. But um, they are in beta mode and they're working on making sure that as long as they keep doing this, they can update it. You can get better models, better presets in the future. But for now, I think this is really cool. Um, and so in order to not waste my generations, I'm just going to go ahead and just do a few. To start here, we're going to do two and um generate some of this wolf here um pretty much i'm going to leave everything the same but it's recommended for you to play with the prompt magic strength a little bit and resonance um there are recommendations on their documents where if you do too much you might not get the output that you want so again this is all about making sure you are being playful and decisive about what you want and if you don't know i think it's best of um suggestion is to just click on generate and hope for the best <laughs> right so we're gonna take a few seconds there um and then there you get to update your plan usually this is not a free thing but because they are releasing this new update they are that letting us test this out for a few days and i think that's really cool usually a lot of websites you know anything new you gotta pay for it first this one is like anything new we got a really nice um free um test or teaser so i think that's really cool there and okay so we got somebody um with the wolf there but i think that is very high quality and dynamic i, I guess so i'm um, not sure what we're creating but these are very interesting um you can see what this is it is dynamic so if i were to change this to something else so let's say i change it to an um photography we might get a different output you can also change the model but um to keep this the same we're just going to keep doing that so go ahead and click on generate there and you can see how many tokens this cost me right there 16. it's quite a bit more compared to the others but 
with that, I think this is an absolutely exceptional tool, especially for those of us who are very in tune with our prompting and our details. And you can see here, there's like a slight difference there. Photography wise, this is more like photorealistic, I guess there's more lighting, more lighting and more shadow. Um, even the wolf looks less 3D <laughs> rendered and more closer to like ones in the movies, right? Not like in the, the 80s or something like that, but um, not bad. I would uh, probably use a different model. Leonardo Diffusion is another one that I use. So we'll go ahead and probably create something along the lines of anime and then click on generate again. Um, I recommend testing with different prompts every single day so you can kind of learn if you do like this or not. I think this really gives you a full on grasp of, yeah, I want this person to be this and I want this person to be that. And um, keeping in mind that we're not even using the canvas tool, right? So that that of itself is like totally different and totally better, right? Um, this one, as you can see, it's anime style. It has like the the colors there and the, the stylistic of it is different even her outfit is slightly different from the other one so yeah this is very very interesting i'm gonna do another um prompt here and see if we can get something a little bit different i'm not really sure what we can do um but let's see if this one's a little bit different here so i'm gonna go ahead and paste this in i probably only have a couple of of um prompts left so we're gonna do a sketch black and white keeping the same model there and hit on generate so this preset is a little bit different it is black and white so it is more of like a sketch color there you can barely see his face and i i guess that's where you really want to play with the um the resonance here the contrast boost and over here you got a different character of the same style per se so it's actually really cool and interesting that they can do that so if you were to change things up in terms of your prompting your style you're going to get exactly what you want uh, we're going to do one more because we have enough tokens to do that and this time we're going to stick it to the environment and, and see or maybe dynamic since we did do a different model click on generate again and see what we get so this one is hyper realistic artwork featuring a vampire wearing black bomber jacket so um this is indeed what it was i said vampire or ChatGPT did so we don't really know um the gender of that one so they give us both options this one they only give us one option but you can see here it's much different depending on the output that we select or the preset that we have and if we were to go back to the original v2 and kind of leave everything the same there we're going to click on generate and see if you know alchemy is a bust or not so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and click on that um let me know your thoughts on this and if you used it and this tool is worth it to you. So it definitely wastes less tokens if you're in your prompt magic v2 and without alchemy there. Um generations is okay. It's 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 actually pretty good for what it is. Um but then you can see that if you do use alchemy it is a little bit better. Like there's more details even on the costume, there's more detail in the 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 characters and the background. And even this text looks a little bit better than normal, not just like the random um, there. And I, I think this even is something that I would love to check out even more. Next, what we're going to do is check out their SDXL 0.9. That is the latest update that a lot of other programs have been doing and releasing. And it really changes the game in terms of your output. So in order to use that, all you need to do is click on the model area and switch to STXL 0.9 and then that's it. It's it's already there for you to use. It uses a little bit more tokens because it's a little bit more advanced. Um, and I'm going to keep the same exact um, prompt there so we can sort of get like a before and after sort of pick it. We're going to do this and then we're also going to go back to the wolf one and see if like what are the main differences in terms of this new model because um this model is a game changer like stable diffusion xl is always so different especially if you saw my other video in playground it changed the way we um we do our prompting right it makes it so much easier so if you're someone who loves 
to play around with your prompt and um, add a few words here and there, add a few things to make it much more controlled. Um, then alchemy is perfect for you. And if you're somebody who's really into um, not really learning too much about prompting and you're just like, give me my pictures, I'm out of here. Um, I like it, but it's too much time. Then S SDXL is the perfect option because it takes the workout for you. You can just kind of press enter and you get some pretty interesting images. I think this is one of the first one where the wolves get a pair of glasses, but you know, that is fine. Um, I think it's actually, it's actually pretty unique that it, it did that, but yeah, I would highly recommend you checking out both the um, SDXL 0.9 it is available for free users or check out the Alchemy version. I think both is really cool whether you want to create better images or not free, not free, free trail. Um, it's there and it's available. So um, let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching.